Bevin. Hey, Mike, uh, I think you're taking it easy on that guy from San Diego. Why? Uh, if that was Luis Severino who got... Oh, I would not. Hey, listen, you don't know anything sports. about. Listen, you you don't know anything about me. Then, if you think that, you know You've what? You got a high school sports writer trying to talk baseball. He knows nothing. Who cares? What's the point? He didn't vote for a bum, though. The point he didn't is, vote. He did not vote. Be talking about it all day. No, we wouldn't. You think? You see? You, listen. You, how old are you? Twenty-five. Yeah, you sound like you're twelve. First of all, okay, I don't do that stuff. Okay, you don't know anything about me if you if you're gonna think that's the case. I don't play Homer stuff. I don't play Yankee fan stuff. I don't do that stuff. Number two, I don't care enough about awards to spend all day on anything. What I'm saying is, I understand. I said yesterday I thought he'd get every vote, but it's not the end of the world that the guy voted for Scherzer. My God, it's not like he voted for some bum. I mean, Scherzer's a you know listen. Uh, I don't know, uh, and I heard he was on Steve. Didn't Steve hang? Did he hang up on Steve, or Steve hung up on him? What happened? No, he hung up on Steve. Oh, he hung up on Steve. Yeah, Steve wouldn't hang up on him. I mean, so he hung up on Steve, so he didn't argue his point well. Um, but listen, I don't think it's the end of the world that he didn't. I mean, if he had voted for some strange player, then I could see you saying, "Wow, what are you doing? You wasted your vote, or this or that." I mean, Scherz is a heck of a pitcher. You know, the guy's a tremendous talent. I, I, I don't have any problem with him. You know, I mean, to me, I'm not, you know, I have no I have no problem with Scherzer. Really, I mean, Scherzer pitched to a 2.5 ERA, right? Um, let me see what he was, let's see. He, he struck out 300 guys. Right? He struck out 300 pitchers, uh, 300 batters. 300 batters. At 18 wins, in a 2 5 year race, struck out 300 batters. I mean, it's not like he had a bad year. I mean, come on. So we had a. Uh, it's, not, it's not crazy. It's not, it's not like anyone has to go nuts over it. I say, listen, it's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be, a, you know, it doesn't have to be an anonymous winner. There's no rule about that. So, and listen, he, the, the guy he voted for, you know, I don't know how many innings. Sure as a pitch, I have to look it up. I, I'm going to guess he pitched 240, 250. I have to look it up what he pitched. Um, innings pitched 220. So here's Scherzer overall, okay? Innings pitched 240, uh, 220. Batting average against 188. 188. Let me go to the... Uh, I mean, Degrom deserved to win. He won easy. I mean, so there's no there's no issue here. I mean, there's no no problem. But I mean, I don't think I don't think it's that big a deal. I really don't. I mean, Degrom threw 217 innings and struck out 269. Had a 1-7 ERA and a 10-9 and record. The other guy struck out uh, had 250 ERA and won 18 games and struck out 300 batters. So. He liked the durability more. Who knows what he liked? Maybe he didn't like the Grom's hair. I don't know what he didn't like. But the bottom line is, not that big a deal. It wasn't like he wasted his vote. Mike and Valley Stream, what's up, Mike? Yeah, what's going on, Mike? What's Thanks happening? Take my call. What's yeah, happening? Yeah, and, and uh, congratulations, uh, congratulations to Jake, Jake, Jake at the Grom. Well deserved. He deserved and, uh, it. Absolutely, you know, he deserved, deserved it. I'm a Yankee fan. I think he deserved it. Doesn't matter what kind of fan you are. She, she won yeah. it. He, he should have won it on roller skates, and he did. He won it easy. And I just wanted to talk about the uh, Yankees offseason with Manny Machado. I think they're going to get Manny, but uh, this whole thing that Hal's got to talk to him now, he's got to, like, knock that off if he came to the Yankees. He can't start those antics, you know, like that he's not Johnny on the spot if he comes here. That's not going to going to fail well with Yankee fans. He, but I do want Machado. Well, then don't one. sign him. If, if the guy doesn't hustle, which he doesn't, and he didn't hustle in the World Series and you're worried about it, why would you give him all kinds of money? Tell him to take a walk. Why would you, if you have to pay a guy that kind of money and have that kind of conversation with him, then that's a conversation you don't need to have. Let it be someone else's conversation. That's the re main reason why the Yankees shouldn't go near Manny Machado, that they have to have a conversation with him about hustling when they're going to pay him a fortune to come here. That's a guy you don't want. Asher in Jersey. What's up, Asher? Hey, Mike. Yes. I just heard you talking about the Duke kid. 
Uh, I, I was just thinking one thing, that besides the fact that he's a tweener, this guy dives to the floor 10 times every game. What do you think his long-term success is oh, going to be? I, don't want, I, I love that. I, I like that. I like the way he plays. I don't mind that. Uh, the only thing about him that is a little tricky is he's a he's a bit of a tweener. He's going, you know, he's. He, I don't see him getting much bigger. Now he's already carrying as much weight as you want him to carry. That's one thing that would scare you a little bit. He's defined. He's already got a lot of muscle on him. Uh, he's six foot seven. So he's, and he really plays more of a power game. He's going to meet faster players. He's going to, and I'm talking about defensively. He's going to be impossible for anybody offensively. No one's going to stop him. The question is, how does he match up? He's going to get faster guys. He's going to get bigger guys. He's going to have a little tricky matchups. But he's also going to be a tricky matchup. Joe and Clark, what's up, Joe? Hey, what's going on, Mike? What's hey, Mike, I want your opinion. When I see, saw this kid guy in play, the first guy I thought of as far as body type and the way he was like a man playing with boys was Larry Johnson, circa 1990 at, at UNLV. Mm-hmm. Same type, 6'6", 2'6". You might not go back far enough. Reminds me of a guy named Adrian Dantley, except oh, he's a Dane, bigger, right? yes, he's a bigger Adrian Dantley is what he is. Adrian Dantley was an immense force. In high school, he was unbelievable. He's a legend. And then in college, and he had a great pro career, too. Uh, but you might, this guy might be more like Barkley, but he's bigger than Barkley. See, Barkley really was about 6'4 and 3 quarters, right around there. Played, you know, and was unstoppable. An unstoppable force, Barkley, offensively. An unstoppable player. Charles Barkley wanted a great. Charles Barkley, you know, was not a good defender, but Charles Barkley was one of the great offensive players ever. You could not stop Charles Barkley from scoring. Nobody could. Bill in Marlboro, what's up, Bill? Hey, Mike. I uh, I listen and I I agree with you. We can't get too crazy too early. But on uh, Villanova, I just would say I mean, took a for the first, that, that, That's fine. But for the first time, he's without. Archie and Jalen Brunson and those guys were excellent college, well, listen, college guards. Listen, you you got to let him rebuild the them. you got to let him rebuild the team. I mean, listen, not every you know, listen, this is going to be a year in between. They might not be a top twenty team this year. That's okay. It's going to happen. He's got a bunch of kids. He's got Booth. He's got Pascal. They'll win their games. They might not be a top twenty team. And if they're not, so be it. And if they're later in the season, a top 20 team, and the kids come together, okay. You know, let the year be what it is. It's a year without pressure. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's had a team that for six straight years has been ranked in the top seven teams in the country. He's had two national champions. He's had like five teams win 30 or more games in the last seven years or six years. So this year might be a little leaner, leaner year, that's all. That game right there will drop him to the bottom of the top 25 or maybe out. And if it does, so be it. Let them build their way back. Ryan and Keyport, what's up, Ryan? Hey, Mike, how you doing? What's happening? Uh, with Zion Williamson, I don't know if anyone's made this comparison. We think about Larry Johnson. Uh, see, I think Larry Johnson's a different player than this kid. I think this kid's a, 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 a is a is a bigger. Larry was not as big as this kid is. Larry was really good. I mean, and very talented, very good defender. Uh, could do everything on the floor. Very good all-around player. A great talent. I'm not taking anything away from Larry Johnson, but the point is I, 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 I think of this kid as more of a little more of an inside force than Larry Johnson is. Ken in Babylon, what's up, Ken? Hey, Mike, how you doing? What's happening? Uh, you know, you're opening uh, comments about the all the, the coaching vacancies yes. that are going to be in the league this year. Mm-hmm. Um you know, two guys that have been with the team for a long time, but you never hear their name come up in interviews or kind okay. of as the hot coaches, is uh, Sean Payton's assistants in, in New Orleans, uh, Lombardi and Carmichael. I mean, uh, why, why come is up it a that lot. they've been there so long? Their names have come up a lot in recent years. I mean, they both but have come up. they've been there for over, you know, yeah. seven, eight years. I mean, they've uh, been it's there for be a the long right. time. Well, there's been a lot of other guys. I mean, there's a, you know, there's a lot of guys, you know, for these jobs. There's a lot of guys that show up in these in these lines. And, you know, they've been mentioned for a lot of years. They've been mentioned. They know, uh, you know, they'll get mentioned again, and especially off this year. Plus, remember, the Wallens hasn't been good. Last year was the first year they were good in five years. 
But they've always had a good and creative Yeah, but they offense. had they I were mean, losing like but they were losing. They had losing records for three years in a row there before last year. They had three straight losing seasons. So you're not going to be running for guys off losing teams. I mean, that doesn't happen a lot. You know, most of the times you think times either come, of those guys will get a shot with yes. the Jets? No, I hope not. Okay. I don't, why, I don't want it because I don't want an unsung assistant with the Jets. I want a proven commodity. I don't want another one of these. Uh, I'm going to pick a hot, a hot assistant and go to, and hope and, and, and cross my fingers because that's what you're doing, you know. You're crossing your fingers with one of these hot assistants. That's all you're doing. You don't know anything about them. You hope they do well. They run about 50 50. Uh, just go look at them. Uh, go line up the last 20 of them that got jobs and see how many are left and see how many have been successful. And for every McVeigh, there's, you know, five or six of them that fail. Uh, so there's no gimme, there's no given. You know, it, it doesn't matter who it is. Look how many of Belichick's guys have been thrown out there and have, how have they done? Yeah, I mean, I think the only thing there is that you, you need to find someone that's, you know, obviously got some experience, but also... Wait, 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 know, wait, 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 so what experience? None of them are head coaches, though, so what experience do you want them to have? I mean, running an I mean, running an offense. Yeah, but that's you know, not a that's not a, a good quarterback. But like that's Reed. not a good indicator. It's not. It's you can't show me how anything that an assistant has done, even on the highest levels of coordinating a championship team, you can't show me where there's anything that you can point to that will give you a hint that a certain assistant's going to be the one that's going to be good, because well, you some of the most exact. Wouldn't you rather take a chance on a guy like that than like what the Giants did? I mean, you know, this guy was a below average coach. With no, the to Browns, me, he was to me. I, 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 see, he didn't get it. He had he didn't that that actually worked against him. That didn't work for him. He got the job because he was considered a quarterback maker. That's why he got the job. He got the job off his assistant work. He, the head coaching stuff actually worked against him. It didn't help him. It, it didn't help him a little. It hurt him. So that actually almost kept him from getting a job. He got a job despite that. That didn't help him. Most of these guys aren't going to have head coaching experience at all. And you know, like I said, you would run. You would be pointed to every single time. You would be pointed to a North Turner. You would be pointed to a. Uh, Wade Phillips, you would be pointed to a Romeo. Uh, you can go down the list. You'd be pointed to a uh, Mangini. You would be pointed to a, uh, you know, the kid in New England right now who's back on everybody's list again now and whether he'll stay in New England or not. You got him. You got all these guys, and you never know with an assistant. You well, never know. What do you know. think is better, that, that option or one of the hot, you know, college coaches no. like a Lincoln Riley? You're not getting Lincoln like Riley. That. The Jets would be yeah, like but, fifth but, but in what line. do you think? In terms of so I told you I want I want an experienced coach for the Jets. I don't want I want a Harbaugh or I want a Bruce Arians. I don't want I don't want a uh, I don't want a a assistant for the Jets. I want a proven winner. I want a proven coach. I want a veteran coach. I know what he is. I want a proven commodity. I don't want any assistance for the Jets. All right, Schrager's with us now, so we'll do some Fox stuff. Remember uh, Jacob.